Hey, it's Michelle with Marstown TV today, and I am here at your library right here on Main Street. I'm here talking with Penny, and before she starts telling us about all the amazing activities going on here this month, we need to talk a little bit about what is behind us. I am fascinated with this. Penny, let's talk a little bit about this, this beautiful collection. Well, each month I talk about the Lego Club, and these are some of the builds that children have uh, created. And Shelly keeps them in her office so nobody will break them or, you know, mess them up, and they're on display. So if you want to come by, look in Shelly's office and view these. That is fascinating. And the, the create, and I apologize, I've got the back of my head to you, but you can see these are just amazing. The creativity that these children have is just phenomenal. So when they go into the Lego Club, they're just turned loose, right? I mean, there's no models to go by. They just make whatever they want to, correct? They make whatever they want to. And like I said, they don't have to bring any Legos. Mm -hmm. They're provided. Mm -hmm. um, so they will build. And then uh, next month, they'll destroy these and build something else. Oh, I just love it. Now, there is one back here. I, I guess Tony can get this. I see that the blocks are a little bit bigger What's the significance of this little cute, colorful toy? <laughs> <laughs> well, these are called rockin' box, and they're a little larger than the Legos, and uh, they work with the STEM uh, activities for the students, so they can uh, use their minds and their hands and everything. Well, I know I was doing some research about the Lego Club because I really am fascinated with it. And aside from the fact it's fun, you know, the kids get with other kids who have like interest and such. This helps with their creativity. It teaches them engineering. I mean, it's just amazing what this, who would have thought Legos could be so much fun? Now, what about if somebody came to you and said, my little junior or little Susie used to play with Legos. They're all grown up. I don't need Legos anymore. Do you take donations? I'm sure that Tana would be more than happy to take those, yes. So, you know, we can always use more different different items in the Legos, yes. Now, for children in the Lego Club, and I don't mean to just take up the whole segment on Lego Club, uh, but I, people do ask me these things. Children, that are they do not need to bring their own Legos from home, right? They do not. No, they're provided for them. Okay. Well, I think that is just wonderful. See, there's so much more here than just movies and books and magazines. Well, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about what you got going on in April. Well, let me tell you what the dates are for their next I program. think you should. She's going to tell us. <laughs> April 6th, uh, that's on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. They'll be meeting at 2 to 3. April the 16th from 4 to 5, and that's on a Tuesday afternoon. Now, the Rock and Bach will be meeting that Saturday the 6th at 11 o'clock. And again, if somebody's not able to write these down, they can call the library or even go on your Facebook page or your website to get the, the dates and times, correct? Please go to the website. Well, I have those scrolling across. I create those each month. Well, that's wonderful. Well, again, I see you've got notes and such. What else you got going on? Uh, last month, the Knoxville Symphony was supposed to be here, but there was a mix-up with the dates. They did not come, so they are coming this month, the 24th. Okay, fantastic. And this is still part of story time, right? This is story time. Like I said, this is a string ensemble, and they will be reading a book along with playing their instruments, and it's so wonderful, and it's so soothing, and the children are just love it. Even the parents and grandparents love it. We love it. We come out, our, out of our offices to sit and listen, and afterwards, they will let the students have hands-on with some of the instruments. So, you know, there could be some future musicians in that crowd, and this just sparks their interest in music. I think it's just wonderful, the things you guys do. What else? What else you got going on? Uh, crafts with the staff. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the craft this mm -hmm. month, and that's going to be the 23rd from 4 to 6. This month we're going to be making a, a book page dahlia. Flower. Now, the one, this is just a small example. The one that we're actually creating is going to be larger, and you can use it like for a door wreath. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we don't use new books. These mm -hmm. are books that have been recycled. Okay. So now, And tell me again the date for this. That is April 23rd from 4 to 6. That's on a Tuesday afternoon. That would make an absolutely lovely Mother's Day gift for somebody. It would. I didn't think of that. Yes, I'm here for you. Okay. <laughs> well, before you talk about some of the other things, I want to talk about Garfield that is in the chair. This is something, new. Penny said it was a frog. I said Garfield. This is something new that you guys are offering, right? Yes, it is. Uh, we're collecting them. And uh, like I said, if anyone has any they, they don't use anymore, we'd be more than happy to take them. These are cake pans mm -hmm. that we're letting uh, the public check out and make their own cakes. That is wonderful. I've seen a few of them, and, and you've got, like, themes. I think you've got... Uh, 
uh, uh, who was it, SpongeBob maybe, and then you, you must not be a SpongeBob fan. And then you've even got some things for Easter, like little bunnies and rabbits. Yes. Bunnies are rabbits. And eggs and stuff, right? <laughs> right, right. And you, they do check out for two weeks. So, you know, you want to come by and check them out. Well, that is just fascinating. Well, I think those are my go-to words today, fascinating and amazing. It's just because that's how I feel about the library. So what else you got going on? I know there's quite a few other things as she's digging through her stash of stuff. Uh, computer classes. Mm -hmm. um, now, you know, we have so many people say, oh, are you going to teach an Excel class? Bobby is teaching an Excel class. It's Introduction to Excel, and you want to register for that. She's uh, teaching the April the 25th from 4 to 6. Okay. But again, they do need to register. Yes, ma'am. Okay. They do need to register. They can call. They can come by. Well, just to show how old I am, when I went to business school, I just learned Lotus. And wow. right as I was getting out into the grown-up world, it became obsolete, obsolete, and there came Excel. I hate Excel. So anyway, <laughs> well, is there anything? I know you've always got other things going on. Is there anything in particular you want to highlight before Tony tells me to cut? Sure. <laughs> on Saturdays, I've never mentioned this before, but you can read to a therapy dog. The children can. So if you have a student at home who, who is kind of shy, who's having trouble reading out loud, those dogs are phenomenal. They will just lay there they'll let you lay on them and read to them there is birdie wooster who is a uh oh she's a huge dog mm -hmm. of greyhound not mm -hmm. a greyhound but it's wire hound something mm -hmm. like that and then there's hope who is a black lab so okay. you want to come and do that i think i saw the the first one you mentioned when we came and did the putt putt and she is very oh. passive large and calm that's wonderful well that is a really good thing with the kids how long have you been doing that uh mary has set that up for us and we've had it probably for over two years oh wow see there are so many wonderful things here all you need to do to find out besides tune in to channel seven marstown tv today is simply come by the library give them a call or check out their website correct correct Penny, thank you so much. Aside from all the wonderful things that you, I can't say we, but that you tell the viewing audience about, I love hanging out with you. We have such a good time. <laughs> Guys, I do, as I always say, I appreciate you so much. Stay in tune to Channel 7, Marstown TV today. If it weren't for you watching us, we wouldn't be able to do the things we do and bring it to you. See you next time.